Nigel Lithgow is denying Paula Abdul's sexual assault claims against him. In court documents obtained by Pipol filed October 15, the producer called Abdul's claims that he sexually assaulted her appalling lies. The answer comes after the singer, 62, submitted her first amended complaint with new details of the alleged incidents, including claims that she was also assaulted by Lithgow during the same incident as her assistant in April 2015. In her initial lawsuit, Abdul claimed only her assistant was assaulted in an incident in April 2015. The new documents claim that in Abdul's original complaint, she alleged Lithgow assaulted her on some unidentified date during one of American Idol's initial seasons in the early 2000s and again at or around the time she was working on So You Think You Can Dance in the 2015-2016 time period, and that she witnessed her assistant supposedly being assaulted by Lithgow in April 2015. The answer submitted by Lithgow claims Abdul was vague both as to the timing of the alleged assault and as to the details of the supposed incident, and could not form the basis of any of her claims against Lithgow. Therefore, Lithgow argues in the documents she suddenly remembered additional details of the alleged 2015-2016 assault and that she also purportedly was assaulted by Lithgow in April 2015 during the same alleged incident involving her assistant. It stretches credulity that Abdul would supposedly remember witnessing her assistant allegedly being assaulted by Lithgow in April 2015 and yet apparently forget, until the filing of her FAC, that she also allegedly was assaulted at that same time, let alone be able to suddenly remember specific details of the alleged incident as her FAC now alleges Lithgow claims in the document. Lithgow's response went on to point out the times Abdul had expressed her positive feelings toward Lithgow. The docs include alleged private emails, text messages, and social media statements Abdul made during and after the time she now alleges the abuse occurred. The answer continued, Abdul expressed how she really felt about Lithgow, her friend and colleague, both during periods of time when the two worked together and during periods of time when they did not. It is unthinkable that Abdul would even tolerate Lithgow's physical proximity, let alone send him adoring messages and sexually provocative jokes if her allegations were true, which clearly they are not the filing alleges. The docs contain various alleged text messages and emails from the time of the alleged assaults appearing to show Abdul professing her love and gratitude for Lithgow. Further evidence provided seems to show that the two longtime friends had spent birthdays and holidays together and Lithgow's side claims she was seldom on the set of American Idol or So You Think You Can Dance Without Security. One alleged email from Abdul to Lithgow on June 20, 2014 read, Hi Mangel, thank you for the beautiful flowers. They were exquisite. But I have to say the kicker was the birthday card last night. I am still howling. I also wanted to let you know how happy I was to have you and Andrea join me on my special day. I know you've had a previous commitment and was very touched that you were able to move things around to celebrate with me. I truly appreciate our friendship and I'm looking forward to launching our project. Hexo Exo Paula. In another email from June 9, 2015, she allegedly wrote EP. I'm so effing happy and thrilled for you. Way to go, sweetheart. You're so deserved. Mazel Tov. She ended her note, I love your guts. Show P. Lithgow continued to deny all allegations and accuse Abdul of having a tactical campaign of defaming falsehoods that weaponized the climate against him. Abdul's accusations against Lithgow are false, despicable, intolerable, and life-changing, a document read, going on to claim the American Idol judge has a long history of telling stories to attract attention. Abdul has abused the legal process for her own personal and selfish gains, the docs claim. EOPL reached out to Abdul's lawyer for comment but did not immediately hear back. Citing interviews regarding Abdul's past denials and admissions of substance abuse, along with claims she had been in a plane crash in 1992 with allegedly no proof, Lithgow's answer called Abdul a pathological liar and attention seeker. She invents stories and then she doubles down, always working to make herself appear the victim, it concluded. Consistent with her past pattern of telling lies about incidents that allegedly happened to her, Abdul's recent allegations against Lithgow are pure fiction. There is only one victim here, and that is Lithgow, whose life and career have been decimated by Abdul's lies.